Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that I'm going to show you tonight is how quickly the tides can turn from pro-gun control to pro-freedom, just like that, through nothing less than elections in Florida. I'm about to show you how Gabby Giffords, gun control advocates and gun controlling Democrats in Florida are freaking out because they're, everything that they've had in past is being undone by your representatives. Everything is being linked in the description box below and this whole video speaks to the fact that when you get involved, you can beat them back. Now, if you are new or you're a returning viewer, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and making sure you turn that notification bell on. We need as many people as we can to get into the fold to pass the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation, just like this article is going to show. Thank you so much in advance for your consideration, but let's get it, my brothers and sisters. We have got to talk about some stuff this Sunday. Gabby Giffords, former congresswoman and assassination attempt survivor, visits Parkland to condemn permitless gun carry. Now, this is a hard gun control biased article from the left side, but I'm going to show you something important here because Gabby Giffords was indeed in Parkland. However, the reason she was there was not to celebrate more gun control in Florida. It was to protest constitutional carry. Listen to this. Frustration and disgust permeated the air inside the Gino Mont Montalto wing of the Parkland Library on Saturday afternoon. A former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords joined Parkland families and South Florida Democrats in denouncing legislation that may soon reverse some of the gun control efforts that they made after the mass situation in Marjorie Stoneman. We know what happened there, and it's a terrible tragedy. The important piece here is they were not rallying in this area to say we're going to have more gun control be successful. Now, keep in mind, in the past two years, the big rally cry from Moms Man Action, Real Hard Focus, and Giffords.org was get rid of the stand your ground law, make more gun control gains in Florida. Now they are gathering in libraries filled with frustration and disgust because all of their efforts are being undone because freedom is coming back to Florida. Check this out. And this is not just Florida. This is everywhere. Quote, I wish we weren't here to talk about another disastrous proposal to take us back, said Representative Jared Moskowitz, who is instrumental in passing the, the gun control that exists, which put several gun control measures in place after the shooting. Quote, they don't even believe it's good policy. It's really about politics. It's not about policy. Anytime someone goes back into the sacred well of, well, you're not doing good policy. Yeah, you're losing. The reason that they are getting stuffed on this, because it's unconstitutional, the right of the people to keep and bear arms is not about policy, it's about a constitution. You cannot infringe upon the Second Amendment that is built into our amendments. It's a numero dos. That's the important piece. It's not about good policy and common sense gun reform. It's the fact that you cannot undo our founding documents. That's the important piece. You obviously can do it with a bunch of different amendment revoking procedures. Ain't gonna happen. Let's continue. He was referring to the proposed bill that is headed to the Senate floor this week and would allow Floridians to carry guns in public without permits, constitutional carry. While another would reverse the MSD's act, raising of the minimum age to buy long guns from 18 to 21. So in that short amount of time, you've gone from gun control effort push to completely going in the opposite direction of constitutional carry and restoring gun purchases back to 18 for rifles, which is where it should be nationally. That's how fast this switches, and they're gathering to lament that process. Let's continue. I'm going to show you a few more things because this only shows you they can be defeated and you're doing it. Giffords and fellow Democrats urged voters to speak out against the legislation and appeal to the conscience of the representatives to get them oppose it. Appeal to their emotion. Ignore their actual constitutional duty. Here's the last piece. Many of the Parkland families, like Giffords, turned to gun control advocacy after the trauma they experienced. For some, it was a way to honor those they lost. The proposed legislation threatens to undo that. Quote, Their legacy has been school safety, Montalto said in a speech Saturday. I fear the current bill will retract some of that. And this is the part where it's important to recognize and address the obvious pain and loss that these people have. It's horrible. I couldn't imagine it, and I'm sure everyone watching this video couldn't either. But that does not mean that you trample on the rest of the population of the United States and their gun rights because of this trauma. And it is an unspeakable trauma. But the important thing here is the legacy cannot be infringing upon the rest of the Second Amendment because it had to have purpose. That's the whole point here. 
Again, I want to reiterate the sympathy, the the empathy for that is off the charts. And I would honestly argue that most people watching this video would agree with that. But there's a difference between empathy and infringement. And that's where the line has to be drawn. And that's what you're seeing in Florida. This is something that is massive. If you take this across every other state, if you take this every other national legislation, this is how we take our rights back because they were pushing hard for Florida and now they're standing in the wing of a library lamenting the fact that all their pushes are gone and they're going further in the opposite direction. And that is what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.